Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Silhouette Sunday video. In today's video, I actually don't have a project to share with you or even a specific tip, but it's just a new feature in Silhouette Studio version four that I think a lot of people have overlooked. Um, it's been a couple of months since most of us have upgraded and I know there's a lot of mixed feelings about the upgrade process. And one of the things that I keep seeing is a dislike for the hidden menus. And um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically on the right hand side of your screen, a lot of the menus that were once their own option or their own button have now disappeared. So for example, these three options were once separate buttons and now they're all nested inside page setup. And I know that that can definitely be frustrating for people who know the menus quite well and don't want to completely learn a new system. I totally get it. But one of the things that I think a lot of us have been overlooking, and I'm even guilty of this myself, is this menu bar right here at the top of the screen. Now, right now it's empty because I don't have anything on my digital cutting mat here, but this menu is context specific, meaning depending on what I'm doing on my cutting mat, the options up here change based off what it thinks I may want to do. So for example, if I click on this tool over here on the left and I draw a circle on my cutting mat, you can see that nothing changed in this menu. But if I go back to my arrow tool and then click on this circle again, now I have a variety of options and these are all options that are actually hidden in these menus here on the right. So for example, I can change my fill and make this circle or ellipse filled in with a color. I can change the line color if that's my prerogative to something else. It's difficult to see here because the line is thin, but I can change its thickness here or change how it appears here. So if I change it to a thicker font, you can, or a thicker point size, you can see the yellow line here. I also can resize this so that it's the exact measurements that I want. So if I wanted this, this to be five by five, I could go ahead and change both those numbers and hit enter and it would turn into a perfect circle. So there's a lot of context specific menus that pop up here. The same thing happens with fonts. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my font tool on the left and then click on my cutting mat and just type a word. So I'm going to type hello and then I'm going to change this so that it's actually a font that's a script and a script font is typically something you would weld. So I'm gonna go over to the textile tool and I'm going to change this to a script font. Um, so off the top of my head, I know Girl Boss is a script font. So I'm gonna click off and make this bigger so you can see that these letters are not connected. But when I have this selected, I get a different set of menus here. If I click off, those options disappear. But if I click on the word again, you can see that the menu changes. So right now I don't have a fill color and the line color is traditional red and it's of a zero point. It also tells me what font I'm using and I have the option to change the font just by clicking down. So if I wanted to change this to something else, I could select it off this list and I also have the font size. I can change the justification as well as several other options, including something we commonly use with script fonts, which is welding. So if I click here, the whole thing welds. So that's it from me, guys. I just wanted to go quickly over that menu that's at the top. It's a context specific menu that I think a lot of us are just forgetting about. And I think if you start going back to that menu, you'll probably have an easier time in uh, version four of Silhouette Studio if you're one of those people that completely hates it. Um, I get it. You most Most of us don't like change, but um, that's it for me, guys. If you have any questions, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching.